Hello learners, this is Sam from Tiges is Calling. In this session, we are going to learn the genotype and phenotype and how they both are related and we are going to do it in detail in pretty good, we are going to cover up pretty good concept. So stay with me till the end so you get the whole concept in an easy way. The idea of genotype and phenotype, all right? The word genotype, you pretty get the word genotype. The word even gene, you get, what does it that mean? By the word geno, you get gene. Gene means it kind of shows something gene, genetical, right? Gene, genotype. Pheno, consider pheno. You kind of convert that pheno into photo. You know, phenotype, phototype, photo, picture. Kind of convert it photo. Just, just remember, it's not the true meaning of it. Uh, actually, the phenotype, the word pheno, which is actually derived from the Greek word that is phanin, which means show, which means what you see right we're just ta just talking about we are just going to talk about this thing so what is genotype so genotype is kind of the genetic constitution of an individual organism so which means this is the chromosome from your father and this is the chromosome from your mother so you every you remember that every chromosome has genes right uh, like we have different genes like uh, these genes which have drawn an orange color is the gene for the hair all right, this, this area represents the genetic gene area for the hair. For example, we have got something here. This represents uh, the, uh, your, uh, nose, uh, your, I mean, the color of your eyes, some hair, your color of your eye. So on the chromosome, different parts on the chromosome represent different genes. So consider this is for the, your hair gene, right? This is the location for your gene for hair. All right, so what happens? If you get both the genes that has orange color, so orange color predominance here, so what you get? Like this is the genotype on the orange, this is the gene. This is the genotype, which is actually the genetic constitution. Get my word. This is the, the genotype is the genetic constitution of an individual organism. So this is the genetic constitution of home, of you, for consider that yourself, all right? It's gen a genetic constitution of you, who? You, right? So this is genetic constitution. And what you get from this gene, you get orange color here. So what is the orange color here? It's actually the phenotype, all right? So what phenotype is something a set of observable characteristics. These things are observable characteristics of an individual resulting from genotype. Probably the phenotype is coming from genotype because if the gene is showing something that have to be shown outside, all right? This is why, this is the reason why uh, most uh, the parents and the ch children look alike. Uh, this is all because of the uh, genotype and pheno uh, phenotype. Are right, we coming to these examples just in a bit? So let's get your uh, idea back to it. You got the you got the concept of genotype and phenotype. Genotype, which is actually genetic constitution, and phenotype, what you see because of the genotype. All right. So let's move to the this uh, Mendelian uh, test cross example. Consider this is the uh, genotype from your father and this is the genotype from your mother. So they both have pretty uh, same uh, same uh, like genotype. Look at this, look at this thing. In this section, we have considered O, that is orange color here, is dominant. This is the dominant orange color. All right, uh, what does dominant color or dominant, dominancy means here? Dominancy means if the recessive, which is not dominant, is present, for example, is, is also present with the dominant, but dominancy, dominant uh, gene is going to show its character, characteristics. Consider it like this. You and your uh, you and your father. Your father is elder than you, and both are living together. And somebody comes to the gate and asks you, "Who is elder? I mean, who is dominant in the home?" You would probably say, "My father." So, who is the dominant person? Your father. If somebody comes and if somebody asks the address of your house, probably he's not going to ask that who lives there. Probably uh, your your house will be represented by your father's name. So who is actually dominating? Your father. Even you are living with them, you both are male. You know, you both are male. But who is dominant male? Your father, which is orange color here. It is an example to consider it. So in this case, we have orange dominant color, all right? Uh, which means, or the, this is the genotype that is orange or orange and the blue, both are the genotype of the father, orange, blue, all right? So uh, what color do a father have? The hair color, it's orange probably because the 
orange genotype is dominant. Look at here, in similar case, we have the recessive one, but recessive can't show because in the presence of recessive, you cannot talk, you cannot do anything. Dominance is dominant. All right, we then move further. We get the uh, gametes of these and we make a test cross, Mendelian test cross, and we check this uh, in this way. All right, we get, we finally get this result. So we have got here both dominance and probably, in this case, we have got both dominance, which means we have got genotype here, orange color genotype, or the orange genotype here. And this genotype is going to result in the orange here. All right, in this and other, in other test cross, we, and this uh, similar, we got this result as well. And this, in this idea, we, we have this one. All right, this is this one. And we have the orange as well dominant. Look at this, this is orange is dominant. We have got recessive as well with it. But recessive can't show its uh, uh, prominency, its dominancy, because orange is present. So what we have got phenotype, this is the genotype. We have, look, we can have gene, different genotype, but not similar phenotype. Remember this, remember this. You can have different genotypes, not necessarily having similar same phenotype. Look, we have got, this genotype we have got this phenotype it's him but in this condition we have got different genotype but same phenotype so phenotype can be either like you cannot determine a person's uh, phenotype uh, genotype on the presence of the phenotype if you look at a person and you say he got orange color probably he ha he would have this one no it's not necessary you have to check check the genes so if you find you could you could find this uh, this thing right so genotype could not be same, it could not be same, uh, I mean, according to the phenotype, not always. And third condition, like this one, uh, you get similar thing to the, that result. We got different genotype, but the uh, phenotype is similar to that one because the orange hair, the phenotype is dominant. But in the last area, look, we have nobody dominant. Nobody is there. Only the recessive can rule because only recessive is present. So we, got, we don't get orange hair color, but we get rather blue hair phenotype because blue is actually dominating here because we don't have the dominant orange orange genotype all right you pretty got the idea about the difference between or the uh, similarity between genotype and phenotype genotype is kind of the genetic constitution of an individual uh, organism and the phenotype kind of the characteristics or what you see uh, which is what you show i mean what you observe from outside uh, uh, it's called the phenotype so this is all about uh, the difference between or the similarity between genotype and phenotype if you think you want to learn something new and anything you think that would help you and we can make it easy for you please make sure to comment us and let us know we'll make a video about it thank you